Metal Gear Solid 3 was released nearly two decades ago, yet Konami still hasn't released a PC port. Nevertheless, there are several ways to play it on PC right now. In this video, we'll explore all five of them, so let's get started. Freeze! <gasps> First up, we'll examine the PS2 version of Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence running on PCSX2, a PS2 emulator. So this is the legendary boss. Huh? On the PS2, the gameplay on MGS3 is locked at 30 FPS and the image is presented in a 4x3 aspect ratio. However, PCSX2 offers a widescreen hack and a cheat code that allows for 60fps gameplay. While these features enhance the gameplay experience, they do have some drawbacks. The 60fps cheat code is resource intensive and can cause performance instability. On my PC, I get FPS drops very frequently with the cheat code on. For reference, my PC is an i5-9600K and an RTX 2060 Super. Additionally, the widescreen hack can display elements of the game that were never meant to be seen, such as this. In this cutscene, Ocelot has already left the area, but his model was left off-screen, and it shows up when the widescreen hack is on. The widescreen hack also fails to correct the stretched UI and the pre-rendered videos. Another issue with the PCSX2 is that the depth of field effect doesn't work. It only works properly on the software render. But I'd say that's not a big deal because, as you'll see later, the depth of field effect doesn't really work in any of the other options either. And it's not a game breaking problem. And finally, the videos shown on the codec screen are pretty low quality compared to the other versions. Despite these limitations, PCSX2 is still a decent option for experiencing the game. It even allows players to enjoy the native PS2 resolution for a nostalgic feel. It's worth noting that a PS3 controller with pressure-sensitive buttons is necessary for some actions in the game, but it's possible to complete the game without it. Anyway, here are the settings I used to play it at 4K. Next, we have the Xbox 360 version of Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater HD Edition running on Xenia, the Xbox 360 emulator. The HD edition supports 16x9 widescreen and runs at a smooth 60fps, making for a superior visual experience with no stretched UI or pre-rendered videos. However, Xenia's performance can vary depending on your PC specs. While it's possible to maintain 60fps at the Xbox 360's native resolution of 720p, my RTX 2060 Super struggled to keep up at 1440p and was unable to run the game at 4K at all. It seems Xenia is very heavy on GPU, so if you want to play it at 4K, you need to have a powerful GPU. Despite this, the game remains playable without game-breaking issues. The Xbox controller doesn't have pressure-sensitive buttons, so there's no need for a PS3 controller. However, Xenia's input lag can make the game a little more challenging to control. Audio lag is another problem that can't be fixed, and the depth of field effect is broken in this version as well. Raindrops are more transparent compared to PCSX2, making them nearly invisible in some cases. I'm loyal I'm loyal to the end. End. This issues aside, the Xbox 360 version is a viable option, particularly for those without a PS3 controller and with powerful GPUs. I use the default settings, except for the 2x scaling and a certain option that fixes some transparency issues. Now, let's talk about the PS3 version of Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater HD Edition running on RPCS3, a PS3 emulator. Looks like the boss's info was right. Like the previous option, this option supports widescreen and runs at 60 FPS. However, it shares the same issues with the broken depth of field effect and nearly invisible raindrops. 
it's rain. Despite this, it's my favorite option, as it runs much better than any other option on my PC. Even at 4K, I experienced only minor FPS drops, while still maintaining performance similar to a real PS3. RPCS3 is heavier on the CPU than the GPU, so keep that in mind. Any decent modern GPU that can run Vulkan is enough. However, not any CPU is capable of handling RPCS3. I'll leave a link in the description for a chart showing the performance of several CPUs on RPCS3 that you can use as reference. And while looking at the chart, keep in mind that my 9600K is enough to run MGS3 at 4K 60fps, but not every PS3 game runs the same on RPCS3. Anyway, this version is the one that runs the best for me and looks very nice at 4K. But do keep in mind that it also requires a PS3 controller for certain actions though. And finally, here are the settings I've used for this video. Next, let's take a look at another very interesting option for playing MGS3 on PC. The Nintendo 3DS version of Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater 3D running on Citra, a 3DS emulator. This version of the game, released in 2012, features significant changes in both graphics and gameplay. The graphics include a new lighting system with a focus on normal maps, as well as new character models and textures. However, the low resolution of the 3DS screen means that the textures are also low resolution, and some may find the new lighting too shiny. Personally speaking, I'm not a big fan of the new graphics. But what do you think? Leave a comment below and let me know. In terms of gameplay, the most significant change is the gameplay being locked at 20 FPS, which is disappointing. And I found some cheat codes for higher FPS, but none of them worked on Citra, at least for me. Additionally, aiming is done with face buttons due to the lack of a second analog stick on the 3DS. And, while you can remap the buttons to a controller's right analog stick, you'll be mapping digital values to an analog stick, and it just doesn't work right. Other changes to the gameplay make the game more similar to Peace Walker, including the over-the-shoulder aiming style, new damage indicators, and crouch walking. So it makes me think they ported MGS3 to the Peace Walker engine for this version. Another change is the audio quality, which is lower in this version. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. This was probably done to be able to fit the game in the 3DS game card. Anyway, let's talk about running the game on Citra. Firstly, the fact that the 3DS has two screens makes it impossible to run the game in true full screen, as both screens need to be shown. And, like I've said before, the gameplay is limited to 20 FPS, but the cutscenes can go up to 60 FPS. However, performance is quite rough on this emulator, especially when increasing the resolution. My PC couldn't handle 4K or even 1440p. Even at 1200p, I get frequent FPS drops during cutscenes. Only something like 720p was enough for my GPU to handle, as this emulator is very heavy on the GPU. Also, the emulator crashed at least once when recording the footage for this video. So while being a pretty interesting version of MGS3, the terrible controls and performance issues makes this option pretty much unplayable, in my opinion. And as a result, I definitely don't recommend this version. Now there's one last version that I wanted to mention, which is the PlayStation Vita version of MGS3 running on the Vita 3K emulator. However, as seen in this footage, the emulator is not yet ready to run the game. Put out that cigar. Connecting oxygen hose to interior connector. So, after reviewing all of these options, I recommend RPCS3 as the best option for running MGS3 on PC. It runs very well and looks great at 4K, although it does require a PS3 controller for certain actions. 
If you don't have a PS3 controller but have a good GPU, Xena is another option. But sooner or later you'll have to choose. And PCSX2 is also a good option, especially for those looking for the retro experience. But I suggest avoiding the 3DS version on Citra, at least for now. And there you have it. A comprehensive look at five versions of MGS3 running on PC through emulation. I hope you enjoyed the video, as it took a lot of work to make it. And if you're going to try MGS3 on PC, have fun. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. That's major ocelot to you. And don't you forget it. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's the most important graphics comparison.